Hey everyone, today's video is going to be all about my all-time favorite and most used lip products. So, I have a bag. I have basically one of every type of lip product, as you'll see. The first thing I want to talk about is my favorite lip balm. I think this is like the most important thing to talk about. It is the C.O. Bigelow My Favorite Night Balm 8 Hour Overnight Recovery. I have three of these. It's just the best. It's in a tube, which I think is really great. I have one in my car, so the fact that it's in a tube makes me not have to worry about if it's going to melt or whatnot. But it is just a nice, thick lip balm. It is not oily at all. I don't know how well you'll be able to tell, but... It is thicker than some lip balms, but I have not been using this the past maybe one or two nights, and I can tell that my lips want it and need it. So I will definitely be using this tonight, but this is my all-time favorite lip balm. I just love it so much. The next thing, I'll talk about what I'm wearing because I know that every single time I wear this lip shade, I get asked in the comments what I'm wearing, and it is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Marvelous Mauve. I know this is a popular color and formula. I know a lot of people love this. If you watch Brie Ashley, I've mentioned her a few times in my vlogs, this is one of her favorites, but it is a liquid lipstick. It's what I'm wearing right now. I have one coat on. I'll do a swatch for you so you can see like live how opaque it is. I'm barely touching the wand to my hand, and it is super opaque. It's amazing. It's the perfect, I'm sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder, I just want to see what it looks like. But it's the perfect pinky mauve, while I think still being neutral enough, it does not pull very, very purple or too bright and pink and that's why I like it is that I feel like it goes with so many different looks and I can just kind of throw it on with anything and know that it, that it will look great. Another product that's along the same lines but not necessarily the same tone or really feeling wise because this does get really matte. It's super long wearing. It's amazing and it's I think about $14. This is the L'Oreal. I have never known what the real name of this is. It looks like this. This is in the shade Rose On and On. And this is a liquid lipstick of sorts while incorporating more of like a lip gloss aspect. So this is a rose shade and you'll definitely see a pattern with the shades that I like. But this is very long wearing. It's the one... Ooh, right there. So definitely more of a true rose nude, like not nude, but natural pink. Something that's going to be very similar to your lip color. Again, all of the products that I'm showing you are things that you can really wear with absolutely any look and I have. So it dries down, but still remains a little bit I don't I don't want to say tacky because it's not that, but it doesn't get as matte as most liquid lipsticks do nowadays. It maintains a little bit more moisture and not necessarily a shine, but it's not flat matte. It's more of like a natural kind of satiny finish, but I just really love it. It wears a long time. It leaves a nice slight stain once the kind of lip balm, not lip balm, like lip gloss-esque texture leaves, the sort of sticky tackiness, but it is very, very, very long wearing. The one lipstick that I have is from Tarte. It is the Tarte Amazonian Butter Lipstick in Plummy Rose. I love this packaging. It's so cute. But this has like a nice mint scent to it, which is nice. But again, it is a little similar to the product I have on my lips right now, but a little bit more of a rose. It's exactly what the name says, a Plummy Rose. So it is more of a mauve, kind of deeper natural pink, if that makes sense. It's still very natural, but you can definitely see that it's lighter than this one. And it has a little bit more of like a berry plum tone than this rose one. So this is great. I will say that because it does have a sheen, I think you can 
tell. It's not a matte lipstick. It does have a nice sheen to it. That does make it moisturizing, but it is not super long wearing, so you would have to reapply it, but it is a nice lipstick. It goes with really anything. I would definitely recommend it. And then the last two things are lipsticks. I'm sorry. I mean, lip glosses. Sorry, I feel like I have like a fuzz in my eye. But the first one is the NYC Liquid Lip Shine in Rivington Rose. I got this in like a Walmart beauty box. I'm not sure how expensive it is, but it's NYC, so I'm sure it's pretty cheap. But this lip gloss is actually really nice. It reminds me a lot of the NYX Butter Glosses, both in formula and scent. Yeah, it definitely smells similar, but it is definitely a more opaque gloss. It is very similar to the Tarte shade. It looks a little bit dark, like deeper, but they are very similar in tone. They both have a little bit of mauve, but rosiness to them as well. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to tell, but it's a gloss without being super glossy. Like you can tell it has some shine to it, but it is mostly pigment. It has... I wouldn't say glitter, it's more of like a sheen, shimmer, like very, very, very thin in there. But it's just really nice. It feels really nice on the lips. It's really creamy. And I just love the color. I throw this on with anything, everything. This is in one of my purses that I take when I go do like observations and stuff because when I'm in a classroom for a long time and I don't want to be touching up my lip product, I like to use a gloss that's going to at least feel more moisturizing and comfortable on the lips. So that's normally what I do. And I'm not a huge lip gloss person in general, so that's a time when I can get a lot of use out of it. The last product is the L'Oreal Lip Gloss in Blushing Harmony. This is like my favorite. It smells a little bit odd. I think all L'Oreal lip products do, kind of like hairspray. Yeah, but this is super opaque and really, really, really nice. I'll try to do like an even swatch for you, but again, very similar in tone to the other products. It, I think, I hope you'll be able to tell it's more of a rosy shade than this one. This one is a little bit deeper, has a little bit more pink to it. This one's more of a natural nude-ish tone. But what I love about this is for one, it is a thicker gloss without being sticky. I like thicker glosses because I think the staying power is a lot longer than a really thin, you know, oily slick lip gloss. So I like this because it does stay around for a long time, but also just the color. It goes with absolutely everything or at least everything that I wear. I would definitely wear it with this look. It really, I would really wear any of these colors with really any look that I go for. So you can tell there's definitely a slight range. This is definitely the darkest, the one that I have on now, and this would be the lightest, the other kind of stain. It's very natural. You could really wear it any, any, with like absolutely anything because it is so natural and matches my lips so well. I'm not sure if anyone else would have the same time with it if your lips are a little bit different in pigmentation but anyway yeah and then the last three I really use interchangeably I'll, I'll throw them into a purse touch up with them use them wherever so those were all of the products I definitely love the plummy mauve rose natural colors but I think everyone kind of does I'm not a huge nude lover because I have a very hard time finding a nude lipstick that looks good on me without being way too brown or way too yellow or too light pink and like scary so I am on the hunt so if you have a really nice nude lipstick or lip product of some sort and you're kind of the same skin tone as me please let me know because I am looking for one and have been for a while but yeah I mean I think most people what I was getting at is that unless you're like a really big nude lip fan. I think these shades are ones that you would go for. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. These are truly the products that I reach for the absolute most. They are like my fail safe products. So I would definitely recommend them to anyone. 
So I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.